what's up Calvin Gang? All right, so we got this Bernoulli's equation problem here and we're gonna give it a shot. So how are we gonna do this? So it says at one point of the pipeline, speed is three meters a second. I'm gonna play this on that later. So let's just write up Bernoulli's equation to start with. So uh, the pressure of one plus density, gravity, height of one, plus the density, or one half times the density times the velocity of one squared is equal to the pressure of two plus the density, gravity, height of two, plus one half times the density, velocity of two squared. What are we gonna use out of this, right? So what are we trying to find? We're trying to find pressure of two, right? That's what we're trying to find, the gauge pressure of two. So that's gonna be one thing we need. Uh, that's what we're solving for, right? So we're given the pressure of one, so let's plug in that, right? Uh, where is that? It's a number, right? Five times 10 to the fourth. So five times 10 to the fourth, plus the density of water, 1,000, times gravity, 9.81, times the height of one, which is 11 meters, and that's also given to us, plus one half times the density of water, which is 1,000 again, 1,000, and then velocity of one, which that's a given to us too, right? Three meters a second. So this is three squared. It's equal to pressure two, what we're trying to solve. Now height of two, it goes down 11 meters, so we're taking this to be the starting. So that height is gonna be zero, we're not gonna worry about that number. And this is plus one half, density of water, 1,000. But then velocity two, right? We don't know velocity two. That's something we need. So how are we gonna find the velocity of two, right? Well, we're gonna need another equation for that. And that equation is gonna be this equation. So it's gonna be area at one times velocity of one is equal to area of two, velocity of two. So we're trying to align velocity of two, so let's move area of one over. So area of one, velocity of one over area of two is equal to velocity of two. So we don't have the areas, but we can kind of move this into radiuses. Sorry, I'm having deja vu right now. Okay, moving on from that. So area is gonna be pi radius squared times volume over velocity of one over pi radius squared and one over two is equal to velocity of two. So we're seeing the pi's are gonna cancel, don't get those. So we're looking for a diameter, right? It says that diameter at two is twice the diameter of that at one. That's a big thing that we're gonna need. Pipe diameter at the same point is twice that at the first. So we can say that diameter at two over diameter one is equal to two, right? That's basically what it's saying. So we're trying to get this into the equation, right? So radius is, so instead of radius, radius is gonna be, said is diameter divided by two squared times the velocity of one over diameter so this is one, this is two over two squared. So I'm gonna bring this over here because I got some work to do. So what this is gonna work out to is diameter squared over four, velocity one is equal to diameter two squared over four. So these over fours are gonna get canceled out, right? So that just becomes diameter one squared, velocity one over diameter two squared. So we have diameter two over diameter one is equal to two. So I'm gonna rewrite this as diameter one over diameter two squared times velocity of one. So if we have diameter two over diameter one is equal to two, then diameter one over diameter two is equal to one half. So then that is equal to, so it's gonna be one half squared times velocity of one. So there we go. So then, so we know that the velocity at one is three, so we can go all the way back. I kind of moved my way all the way to the board, but basically all this to say that velocity two is equal to one over four times velocity of one, which is three. So velocity two is equal to three fourths. And there you go, so we have velocity of two. So all we have to do now is plug three over two, three over two, or three over four, excuse me, three over four squared, this equation. Now we have just the P2, and all we have to do now is uh, sum up all of this, then subtract this and just get P2 by itself. And you're gonna end up with P2 is equal to exactly. It's gonna be about 16.2035 pascals. Use your sig figs or whatever if you wanna do that. But yeah, that's the answer to this problem. Nice. That's how you find this kind of a problem like this. So the hardest part was really just doing this equation. Plugging into Bernoulli's is like usually pretty easy. You just have to find out ways to make things work. So yeah, that's how you solve this kind of problem. Yeah, good luck on your physics homework, guys. If you need any help, come back to my channel because I got a lot of videos on here. 
and I'll see you next time. Thanks for the support.